this is that sea foam I was talking about. <clears throat> uh, I got seven gallons of fuel for the Toyota. And this is supposed to be like a whole can to nine gallons if you want to give it a pretty rugged treatment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump a little bit in this uh, little generator right here. Uh, this thing was running good this summer and it, it got to running bad because this gasket blew out around the edge of the carburetor. So I'd like to pop that carburetor off, put a little bit of, of this in there, crank it enough to get this all through the carburetor. And my gas powered air compressor back here I'll probably do the same thing with it uh, it is a little hard to crank when it's cold so I don't know if I can get it to crank but I figured if I choked it hard and pulled on it a few times that would help to get some of this moving through the system there um, it would be great to get a little bit in the Johnson I'd need to get it in a bucket of water or take it to the lake one or the other to crank it uh, it'll probably be all right without it because it's gone through winters before without much treatment. I used to treat it pretty pretty good with this stuff. But uh, it'd be better if it had a little shot. And I've got a little bit of gas mixed up for it. So I suppose maybe I could uh, run the boat over, the small boat over the lake and drop it in the water. When it's 20, 25 degrees, it's not really very inviting to do that sort of thing. But maybe I could anyway. But I'll start with the Toyota, get it going, and we'll go from there. While I'm out here with the Toyota, I'll go ahead and change this voltage regulator. It has uh, been malfunctioning ever since I brought this thing home. And I sent off and got me a new one here the other day. Oh, don't you just love the smell of new parts in the morning? Yes, sir. So, I'll uh, go in here and get me a couple of wrenches. And we'll snap that baby into place right quick. And then, uh, and then we'll crank her up. I wonder if that battery's still got any hot in it. I guess we'll know soon enough. Okay, I've got the new voltage regulator in there, and you'll see what I have for a battery here. This is basically a uh, lawnmower battery that's supposed to be, uh, I think it was advertised as being big enough to crank a 38 horsepower lawnmower. Now, you hear that sound? That's what this thing was doing before. It was automatically, when I connected the battery, engaging the uh, fire to the switch. Sounds like it still is, but I don't know. What I'll do is I'll... Uh, well, let's see. Before I slip that on there, I'll put a little gas down in the carburetor. It has been sitting for quite a while since it was started. I think last time it was started was last time when I tried to slide it up on that pad and I couldn't do it because it was so wet. So it's really been sitting here for quite a while. <clears throat> I put a little gas in the car. I got it just about everywhere but the car. But I don't know, if this battery has enough fire to crank it after sitting all that while, I'd be some surprised, but you never know. Sometimes it works. You can see how cold it is still. Yeah, my switch is on. So apparently, replacing that voltage regulator didn't do the trick. If it did, that wouldn't still be on. So my switch issue may be somewhere else. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, you know, I can't believe she started up that easily. Alrighty, I wonder if there's any defroster in this thing. Let's hit hot and defroster and fan. Think anything's happening. Yeah, 
I don't think I got a fan working. Ah, that could be a problem. Go get me a scraper, I guess. We can scrape on it a little bit. I've had a few people fuss about how fast this thing is idling, and I agree, I haven't even tried to idle down any yet. Uh, I think for right now, I'll just leave that alone. Address one issue at a time. <laughs>